This is a video about chopping and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to chopping on a jig. So, it's all about one movement really and it's this. Okay, so basically I've got my left hand down stopping the string so you can see it's just really light. I'm not pressing down like because you can now hear the actual notes that those fingers are playing. So it's just lightly down. Okay, and as far as the bow is concerned, I'm coming down like directly from above and then doing a little release when I come off. So I like to think of this like a welly boot getting stuck in the mud. So foot comes down and then you have to prise it out. And that up bow is not a big deal. It just wants to be basically the result of coming up. It doesn't want to be a physical like you doing an up bow stroke at all. And actually it would be very hard if you had sunk in properly, it's almost impossible to not make a noise when you come off. Well, that I kind of did, but it, there, was, there was a noise. You maybe just didn't hear it. Okay, so it's all about the down. And I want you to also be aware it's not a down stroke, as in the direction isn't going up and down here. It's like from above. So you might see quite well in this camera shot here that my arm isn't doing this. That's what it looks like from above. Okay, so there we go. Now, if we're thinking about a jig, we want to split this up into the six notes in the jig. And so we're going to start off with, um, well, it doesn't make sense now, but we're going to start with four, five, six, one. So we're going to go four, five, six, one. So on one, the left hand lifts off and the strings play. Four, five, six, one. Four, five, six, one. Four, five, six, one. Okay, now, Sometimes people are already going like that. So we don't want it to be four distinct sounds. We want chop, release, chop, release. And you can hear the difference it makes when the fingers are off. So, and it's still, it doesn't need to be a big moment. It's just like that. That's it without having any fingers down. It sounds like a bit of a shambles because generally there's we need the strings to be stopped. Okay, so four, five, six, one. Four, five, six, one. Now, let's practice one more thing before we move on to one, two, three, four. So I want you to start dampen all the strings again and actually go. So actually this movement can happen anywhere on the fiddle, either low, medium and high, and a bar of jig would go between the two. So we're going to go high, middle, low, and I'm playing two strings at once here. So a, E and A is high, middle is A and D, and low is D and G. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Okay. Now this movement, you might also want to see I'm kind of using my wrist um, to do this. Okay. And everything else in my bow hold is kind of staying stationary. I'm not doing, when I've talked in other videos about my uh, fingers changing shape or changing angles, they're just stationary because they're right at the heel and they're staying there. Okay, I didn't really mention before, but this is at the real heely kind of almost grotty part of the bow if you haven't had a rehair for a while. Okay, so what we're going to do now is our four, uh, four, five, six, one, and we're going to go four, five, six. So we've gone high, middle, and then on low, we're actually going to play on our G and D strings. So it is low, uh, sorry, high, middle, low. One, so four, five, six, one, four, five, six, one, four, five, six, one, which is exactly the same as I've just moved down. Four, five, six, one. Okay. 
So if I count to, I'll count one, two, three and join in on four, five, six, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, right. We'll move on to one, two, three, four now. Now, the tricky thing about one, two, three, four is it starts on a one of the releases. So you're used to going at this point, doing that. You need a chop to then do an up. So we'll just get used to doing this anyway on G. Again, this is my wrist doing that. And I'm not stopping the strings just now. So we need to be able to start on the up. So you've basically got the string on the, the bow is on the string. And that's one. One, two, three. And then four is fingers back on and we're stopping the string again, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just keep them on it, keep it on in between time as well. One, two, three, four. So I'll count four, five, six, because <laughs> that's the thing. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay, so now we're gonna make it real and we're gonna come across to the E and A strings now. So we're going to go four, five, six. Okay. So this is just missing the four, five, six, one now. kind of doing it silently you'll hear the little in-betweenies because it's actually very hard to do half of the bar and now we're going to join them together so you can either now that you've mastered both the four five six one and the one two three four <laughs> it's harder to loop this one without doing the other okay now we can just put them together. So let's just start with four since that's what we started with. So now you're going to go uh, one, two, three. So if you find it easier to get in from that, then you can just do that. So count to three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. that my left hand is actually just doing a very subtle lift I'm not going like this because you need them to be handy for the little subtle on and off okay right so that's it really and um, obviously if we were playing in G that would sound good because you would be going dun, 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 dun. excuse my out of tune singing Okay, but if we were playing in D, for example, we could put our first finger down on the A. Show you here. So, uh, again, a drone is just fine as well. We don't have to play lots of complicated chords. So we're going to go... Okay, and you might want to go to G. You notice the difference when I missed the stop there? Back to G. So basically, you, as you can see, the left hand just needs to get into the habit of doing this all the time with the sort of pinky end of the hand. to play an A chord you would put your first finger on both. A's, A chords are great because you can hear the top strings ringing. The E and the A are going crazy. So chopping an A is extra fun. And you can even do different things like I'm still doing the same bow but I'm 
I'm just basically lifting my left hand off at different moments actually there. Okay, right. So um, have a bit of fun with that and thanks for watching. Bye!